I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. I'm going fishing and you know that I like it. Woohoo. Welcome to another episode of It's Tipped Up Fishing. I am flippin' excited, I don't know if you noticed, because I'm going fishing. I haven't had a day off in three weeks. It is a Sunday afternoon at about half past two, and I am going to go to Lone Hill Dam to try and catch a carp. So, this session has got two purposes. The first purpose is to just give me a little bit of an afternoon to relax and chill. And enjoy myself. The second, the second um, purpose is I've got some mono on my line. Now you'll find out why I've got mono on my line because of my session that I'm going to go to Aqua Paradiso, the coolest venue. I am going there, so I had to change my my, uh, my braid to mono because it's got a no braid rule. These things are rattling like crazy. Um. So it's, yeah, it's got a mono only rule because of how many snags is in that water. Anyways, back to today's session. So I've got to get used to mono again because I haven't used mono in yards. Yeah, so I have not posted my previous sessions. I had a very quick two hour session at Willow Waters uh, where I blanked. So this is a quick snippet of that. Clever buggers. Look at how he's stalking. Check it out. No, now it's blown. Now it's blown. <laughs> There's more this side. Go get him, boys. And there goes the Tirantala. All safe and sound. Puppies are like, no one's in my lawn, bitches. This is our lawn, let's see if there's another one. Yeah, my lawn, right there. Quite brave, he's peeing on an electric fence. Today I'm at Willow Waters. I don't know if you can hear those bikes around. They are very annoying. But um, Willow Waters is a lovely place. Um, it has got carp, bass, uh, copa, all sorts of cool things. And um, it is mainly for uh, conventional anglers. I'm going to be stalking today, so all I've got is a piece of fake maize and some fluorocarbon and that is it. Gosh, it's nice to be outside. I absolutely love it. Oh, I've got another, let's say half an hour. Those reeds are going crazy. There's definitely fish in there. I'm not sure whether it's a barbel trying to catch things. Yo. Or what, but. If you guys want to catch fish and you want to stalk, that is a damn good sign. And the fact that they're still going now, even though I've been chatting to you guys, is a pretty good thing. Pretty good thing. So it's a nice venue that, lovely for uh, conventional angling and that kind of stuff. Um, and then I went to Bersig for 24 hours. So beautiful Bersig, one of my favorite places to camp in the world. On the way in, I was greeted by these three Tarantala. There were actually quite a few of them. And this beautiful African stone chat. What a cheeky little bugger in the middle of the garlic field. So as you can see, I arrived in the later afternoon. I had stuck on a pop-up on a spinner rig or runny rig, whatever you want to call it, with a fluorocarbon uh, hook link. Because the carp weren't so active, I decided to put the rig on the near end of the slope so this as the slope gets deeper and deeper and deeper and then goes to the flat point in the middle of the dam at about five six meters that is where i put my one line and the other i put on the opposite bank this is Keldon saying how's it and the geese having their last chow before the sun went down as the sun went down the temperature started to 
plummet. It was in the middle of winter. As YBS says, we have fire, baby. So it was pretty cold and so we got a fire going and decided to make some delicious dinner. We made some gourmet burgers with some mushroom and onion sauce. And you gotta sprinkle in that secret sauce now, some delicious lack. So then we got up the bivy, finished off dinner. Then we were interrupted by a pair of spotted eagle owls who were hooting at each other like crazy over and over again. This little guy was about 10 meters above us, above our camp. And yeah, unfortunately the shots weren't too great, but you know, it was so nice to see them. So the lines were very quiet, time to go to bed and hopefully get woken up. Unfortunately, we weren't woken up by anything but ice. It was freezing in the morning. Frozen bivvies, frozen buckets, frozen everything. Where'd you find that? Found it in the cradle after we took the ice out already. And then like half an hour later, we found another piece freezing again. You! <laughs> Calvin, tell us what happened when, this morning. How did you wake up? So I was sleeping and then I felt someone at my feet and was Brennan trying to take my socks off because he didn't have any socks. So I kicked him and he acted like he was sleeping in the very bit on. And then you made a plan, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Look my, at that. Took my beanie and my bandana, made a, like a sock there. And then you found another sock. Yeah. So now he's got socks, man. Sorted. Problem solved. <laughs> So as we waited for the sun to come up and defrost all of us, we were greeted with a very, very welcome surprise. Caught my first one at Darsha for the weekend. Uh, caught it on a boilie. And yeah, it's about like four or five there kilos. Yeah, quite chuffed about it. It's always nice to be at Bassoth. Bassoth is an incredible venue. I really love it there. It's not there's not many places where you can go that is that close to Johannesburg and you cannot hear cars. You simply can't hear cars and you just hear animals. You hear lions, you hear hyenas, you hear jackals and I'm not I'm not talking crap. I'm you literally hear lions and jackals and hyenas because there are jackals in the hills there and they, they run around causing mischief but then they've also got the lion and rhino park which is very close so you can hear the lions at night anyway so now i'm off to lone hill let's go so it's a bit disappointing arriving here and seeing that so pretty much on that side we've got an astroturf and in the front we've got some water so it looks like they've trying to control the weed here um, I'm not sure what their plan is whether they're using poison or whether they just trying to pull it out I'm not sure so it's a bit disappointing when you arrive at a dam and there's only half of it left yeah it's just a lazy Sunday fishing I've put on the one rod I've used a piece of fake maize and on the other I've used a pop-up on a slip d rig um i know slip d rig's not usually a pop-up rig but i put a little split shot on it and hopefully that'll work so let's see what happens fishing in this weed is very difficult very very difficult so what i'm doing is this if you can see it it's a little combination of a stick and a pva mesh and foam so you just hook your your hook bait into the foam like that and then that'll protect your hook point and float it a bit until the PVA dissolves and then your your bait will be safely on the bottom that's the theory anyway
So I finally caught a fish. Holy moly. Makes me so happy. Haven't caught a fish in a while. Such things happen in winter. And it is probably the smallest or the second smallest fish in the whole dam. So I'm gonna take this little guy out, lay him on the mat and I'll chat to you now. There you go. Tiny little guy. I'm very grateful for it. Finally caught a fish. Happy about that. Let's put it back. I went to a fish but I wasn't recording like a tosser. And I'm wrapped up in these reeds. We'll be back. So basically, my left hand rod hooked the fish and then it wrapped around something and then wrapped around my right hand rod and then my left hand rod was fuss, it would not move. But then I picked up my right hand rod and my right hand rod was reeling in slowly. And so I had to let my left hand rod out as I reeled in my right hand rod even though it's hooked on my left hand rod. I don't know, but fish is in the net, so it's safe. Catching the net, not the fish, I promise. Okay, so I caught this guy on a piece of fake maize with, uh, with a piece of foam on top to make it sink nice and slowly because there's lots of weed. Hooked in the bottom jaw. Very simple rig, uh, the fluorocarbon rig. Link is in the description if you guys want to tie it. And that mess. And the pink pop-up you're seeing is my other rig. Here you go. Small fish, but I'm happy I caught it. Any fish in winter is a win. Um, so yeah, that's it for this episode of It's Tipped Up Fishing. Please remember to like, share, comment, do all those cool things. And I'll see you next time. Till then. Tight lines, guys. <laughs>